I'm a man of 30 years in a relationship with a 22 years old lady. Lady, we have been together for six years. <gasps> Until oh, no. ending February this year, and we had a serious misunderstanding. I'm a jealous type of man, and I don't want to see my woman with any man. One fateful evening, she told me about a man that asked for help from her, which they exchanged contacts. I fled up, quarreled with her while she while she sat with a man and even exchanged contacts. I I reported her to her parents, and from that day, everything changed. She says she doesn't want to continue again. I'm a man who doesn't cheat. Like, I don't know any other woman outside her. I have been so faithful, dedicated, and supportive. We were supposed to get married before now. But due to her education, her father asked me to give her some time so that she won't struggle in school, which I understand. Now, with the help of her parents, we are back together. But things have really changed. I begged her over everything. To visit me is hard, no good or effective communication, like no love. She doesn't regard me at all. I beg for everything. I'm tired right now. I never thought in this life we would break up or have any problem that would lead to that. I'm so lonely and bored right now. No one to talk to. When I complain, she doesn't have my time. She gets so angry to the extent she will tell me that mine is not her problem right now. My problem is I can't move on. I have tried everything, yet I can't. I pray a lot, asking God to intervene. I want my woman back. I love her without boundaries. I never knew what I did. I regret everything. Please advise me on what to do. It's really affecting my mental health. If you have any advice for him, feel free to drop it in the comment section. Meanwhile, I will leave my thoughts to start with. Um, this sounds like a very difficult situation and it's understandable that you are feeling lonely, hurt and probably confused. Here are some thoughts that I feel might be of help. Um, the first thing I could pinpoint or point out here is jealousy and communication. Quote. It seems jealousy may have been a trigger in the initial misunderstanding. Open communication and trust are crucial in any relationship, respecting boundaries. While offering help is fine, some boundaries might have been crossed if she felt pressured to exchange contacts. Communicate openly about boundaries that make both of you comfortable. You have to just talk about it. Then now, the current situation. First, reconciliation is what I smell like it's smelling all over the place. <laughs> Getting back together with outside pressure or plea from the parents might not build trust or emotional connection. Now her needs. It seems her priorities have shifted towards education and she may not be emotionally available right now. What can you do? Focus on yourself. It may not sound easy, but it's doable. Look here, it's important to prioritize your mental health. Consider therapy to help you process the situation and develop healthier coping mechanisms. Respect her decision. If she's not emotionally available, forcing the relationship won't make her happy either. Respect her decision even if it hurts. <laughs> Focus on growth. This is a chance to learn and grow. Reflect on how you manage jealousy and improve communications in your future relationship. Build a support system. Lean on your friends, your family, or a therapist for emotional support during this difficult time. Moving on. No contact. <laughs> Why difficult? Consider no contact for some time. This gives you both space to heal and move on. That's if it's not going to work. Openness to new relationship. When you are ready, consider opening yourself up to new, healthy relationship built on trust and communication. Very important. Don't repeat the same mistake. I understand that this might not be the kind of answer you expect to hear right now. But it's important to prioritize your well-being. It's okay to grieve the relationship and take time to heal. It's very okay. 